Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can um, create this wire effect. I in Cinema 4D I used it in my last um, speed art. It's just wait, it's it's on here this on this text. This is the wire effect. Um. It's really simple, but I got asked so many times um, how I done the, this, and I think now I'm making tutorial. Um, it's simple. It's only a render setting. So, but I want to make a text first. I want to put it into the middle. So, mm -hmm. so font. I want to use. Yeah, I use this font. It's it's it doesn't matter what font you use. Want to make it 100 and just make fillet caps. So um yeah, it's just make it to two and to five. So just want to see here. He asked me to. How I made this? Um, yeah. So I'm just um, gonna add no color. So if you render now, it's without color. So just go to render settings. See if it is wherever you want. Desktop. I want to see this tutorial. So and then here's effect. Click on it and go to cell render. So here you have the edge color. You should um, apply edges here. Should be a tick. So then the edge color make to white and to the background color to black. So uh, you can make the edge color to red or something else. And then you just render it, and now it's like that. So it's really simple, just this render setting, or you can add a color to it. This was fucking wrong. So, <laughs> I don't know how I made this. I put all materials onto this text. I want to know it how I made this. <laughs> so, um, if you now apply to the color, you can render it again and it's this orange with, with the cell render so, or you just make this color away go to render settings again and make the edge color to red or green and the background color to red or something else you can change it all and then it looks like that why it looks it like that when I made the background color Black again, okay. Okay, what's wrong? Oh, there. So now it's white and green. Why is, is it white and green? I put it in. Oh, here. My mistake was I applied the color. So now it's black and green, or you can choose this to red and green. It's all the same. So. It's really um I don't like it. <laughs> this color combination. So. Um I'll make it black and white and here then you can uh, for example save it. Just uh I wanna save save two things. Save tutorial cell for cell render so just um Run that so it's finished. Then go go in and don't apply the cell now. Just add a color to the text and save it as only tutorial. That you have these two different um, kinds. So now you have this one. Then you can open them both in Photoshop. Go to desktop. <coughs> Here, just open both 
now you can drag and drop this to the other tutorial put it over it um, under it I mean so use from the first one opacity 90 and then you you will use the eraser so make it smaller like like that so just erase something deleted and it gets a really cool look so I'm using this effect in some background background is really cool um, get a nice look and I wanna show you another way how to get wires like this in a nexer no I wanna do it in this tutorial so just go to it's here um, add an atom array so put the text under this atom array so you only have the stroke and it's wired so you can go to the atom array and make all bigger the sphere radius to wanna make it to 2 no 2.5 or 3 no 4 it's near that's it uh, I wanna try run that so it's only the the stroke you can uh, cancel forgot to save it so save it as tutorial I wanna save it as stroke so uh, run that again so uh, this is the tutorial open it so put this here into this one too so now I wanna just merge the two layers this two I made before and you put the wires under it so use the eraser two again go to tutorial and I made a mistake so go back to the before merge the layers so you wanna duplicate this cell rendered um, text and now you wanna just merge one cell rendered and this tutorial so merge them um, put it over the stroke and this one cell rendered thing put under the wires so under under this one so just use the eraser and yep this was the wrong layer go to the first layer and now you can delete something that it gets a better effect now I don't know if you want to see it in, in YouTube because the quality of YouTube is really bad so uh, if you try it you will see what's better and I want to make a tutorial soon uh, how you can create really sexy 3D text um, made in Cinema 3D and added it here in Photoshop. Um, here, um, I will make a tutorial tomorrow. I hope about uh, digitalize something you draw by hand, a custom logo, for example, like my one. Um, it will have I think it will have two parts um, because in the first tutorial uh, part I want to show you how you can digitalize it how you can cut it out of the picture or from the scanned image or something else and in the second picture I want to show you how you can get it better in Adobe Illustrator and Cinema 3D so, um, in Adobe Illustrator it would be the same it will be the same than Strats made in his tutorial because all graphic designer may make this and I learn it on a work placement um, with the same way um, and here yeah, if you wanna learn something what I wanna show you in the next few tutorials just look this tutorial and 
it will be easier for you um here and here in the second part i want to show you how you can get this uh, custom logo 3d too yeah this was this tutorial 10 minutes <laughs> um thanks for watching guys please rate comment and subscribe and please um personal message me or leave your wish for the next tutorial into the com in the comments so um but don't write uh how to digi digitalize something because i want to make this um I only need time because I must draw something before. And here, yeah, I hope I find a customer um, who has nothing against it when I use it in a tutorial, or I want to draw something for the tutorial. Um, but then I need time, and I don't have time at the moment. Here, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Bye.